Hello again, everyone. Welcome back to Xenogears. All right, we're back at the main menu because I've swapped discs. Go ahead and continue. Wait for all the save files to load. Eventually. Do 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 do. Okay, shot down. Load this file. Yes, indeed. Yeah, yeah, free slots all around. Dreaming. I was dreaming. Perhaps it may have been but a long forgotten memory. A dream. A memory. Things remembered when one is asleep. Things forgotten when one is awake. For the deepest layers of memories become the outmost layers of one's dreams. Which are reality? Which are illusions? One cannot tell until one awakes. Or perhaps they are, at the same time, both truth and fiction. I wonder if you, that's supposed to be a vast nebula. A vast nebulous with no boundaries. An emptiness equivalent to my own existence. I dreamt such a dream. A long, never-ending dream. Lacan. Lacan, what is wrong? Lacan? In that dream, I was called Lacan. I was an artist. I'd become recognized as a talented artist and now was painting the portrait of the uh, Nyssen mother, Sophia. <gasps> it's that picture! Huh? N no, it's, it's nothing. Let us finish for today. You look rather tired. Are you alright? I'm fine, thank you. And now that you mention it... Shall we stop for the day? You must be tired for one... You must be the one who is tired, Mother Sophia. Enough of that now. Yay, it's Ellie! Sort of. When it is just the two of us, you should, you should stop calling me that. Just call me Ellie, as you used to in the old days. You don't have to be so stiff and formal. Oh, uh, alright. Very well. No, I mean, yes, let's do that, Ellie. Ellie. It was a time when she went by such... Th it was a time when she went by such a name. A time when we had met... met up with one another. Time when nothing mattered between us. It was better that way. Just two people together. It was better to have left it that way. I think I might go back home. Only for a week or so. Oh, really? What is the matter? I ran out of paint, so, uh, I, I need to go make some more. You're going all that way just to do that? If I don't go there, I won't be able to get the right pigments. Oh. Then how about I have one of my father's followers? Uh, excuse me. Oh, lunch is coming back. <clears throat> then how about I have one of my followers, the Kahal, take you in one of our gears? You'll arrive quicker, and you'll be much more safe. I lied. I wasn't out of paint. I just feared I would finish the portrait. I wanted to keep on painting forever. So I wanted to buy time. She'd probably despise me for that. No, she'd probably just give me her usual smile. She was that kind of woman. dreams, the life of a man named Lacan, and the lives of countless other men, all but dreams. Now that I am awake, those countless numbers of long, heart-rending dreams are almost impossible to remember at all. In those dreams, I loved one woman. No matter the day, no matter the era, that did not change, nor did her name.
That dream changed me. That dream was the catalyst for me to resolve what my purpose was. I think I know now what I have to do. That long, long memory of a dream. Perhaps it was the memory of my soul. A dream. I was dreaming a dream. Or perhaps it was a memory from a distant past. A dream. A memory. Those words I was unable to convey that day, that time, those thoughts I was unable to carry out. Words and thoughts, the connection between the two. Without words, thoughts cannot be conveyed. Without thoughts, there are no words. They are both as vital as each other. They can never be divided, like the wings of angels, like a man and a woman. An unchangeable destiny. Feelings one wishes one could change, meeting with the person who would change me, and watching myself change. I dreamt such a dream, a long, never-ending dream. Lacan. Lacan, what is wrong? Lacan? In that dream I was called Sophia, Mother Sophia, a symbolic name crowned upon the person who would be the people's hope. A name I was destined, destined to have, whether I wanted it or not. Huh? N no, it's, it is nothing. Let us finish for today. You look rather tired. Are you alright? I'm fine, thank you. But now that you mention it... Shall we stop for the day? You must be the one who is tired, Mother Sophia. Enough of that now. When it is just the two of us, would you stop calling me that? Just call me Ellie, as you used to do in the old days. You don't have to be so stiff and formal. Oh, uh, alright. Very well. No, I mean, yes, let's do that, Ellie. Elhane. I've always liked that name. Because when I first met him, that is what he called me. That is my true name. I think I might ba go back home. Only for a week or so. Oh, really? What is the matter? I ran out of paint, so I, uh, I need to go make more. You're going all that way just to do that? If I don't go there, <clears throat> I won't be able to get the right pigments. Oh. And how about I have one of my followers, the Kahal, take you in one of our gears? Ah, wet my throat. You'll arrive much quicker and you'll be much more safe. I wonder when it started. <clears throat> I wonder when it started. That he started refusing me. The walls between us, our positions, our circumstances. He refused to recognize these. No, maybe it was me. Therefore, I didn't want them. I wanted to... I wanted the two of us to be ourselves. That is what I wished for. So I had him paint me. The way I really am. Dreams. A life of a woman named Sophia. And the lives of countless other women. All but dreams. Now that I am awake, those countless numbers of long, heart-rending dreams are almost impossible to remember at all. In those dreams, I loved one man. No matter the day, no matter the era, that did not change. Only his name. That dream changed me. That dream was the catalyst f for me to resolve what my purpose was. I think I know now what I have to do. That long, long memory of a dream, that perhaps was a memory of, uh, that perhaps was the memory of my soul. Hmm, he's finally awake. Wow, you're 
awfully wide. Here you go. I'm healed. You've been sleeping in this nano reactor for three weeks. Nano reactor? Who are you? Me? I forgot my name. Some people call me Tara. You seem to have recovered completely. Those were terrible wounds, but maybe your youth and strength helped. But your friend's wounds are more serious and may take a while longer. My friend? Ellie! Ellie! Hey, quit staring at the naked girl and come over here! But... I like staring at the naked girl. Ellie? I wanna climb up. I wanna climb... Aww. Let's see if there's anything to look at in here. So, yeah, that you can expect a hell of a lot more of uh, what is essentially giant-ass story dumps in this uh, part of the game. Um, for probably the next... Jeez, uh, I don't know how many episodes it's going to be, but it's going to be a while. The text is slow, but that's okay, because I'm going to be reading it anyway. Faye! Doc! I heard from Tara and hurried right over here. Boy, was that lucky. We're fortunate to have come down near Tara's research facility. This is a research facility? Hmm. This is no research facility. It is a man's hideaway. Seton told me about you. I was shocked to see a couple lying down with blood all over them. A couple? At any rate, you had a narrow escape. Faye, make sure to thank Ta Tara. Tora, thank you very much for helping Ellie. Both Ellie and I were hurt so badly. What is that machine? It's called a nanoreactor. It is a device that can rebuild substances at the molecular level. Not only can it just heal humans, but theoretically it should also be able to create many substances. Is that the same thing as the guy in Solaris? I mean, is that the same thing as Krellian is studying? Yes, that's right. I was the one who taught nanotechnology to him. You did? We shouldn't waste time talking about such an unimportant subject. Looks like her treatment is done. Well, that was fast. Must not have been all that much worse. Oh, you don't need to come. Just wait there. But I want to see the naked lady again. Aww. Faye. Ellie! Faye, I... Ahem. Now why don't you two get out and go get some fresh air outside? We ought to ease the shock of the change. I knew it was you. Faye? When you came in the room just then, I was afraid you may have forgotten about me and everything else. What do you mean? I mean, because... Ellie, you seemed a little different than before. Has my face changed? No, that's not it. It's more like... I mean, your atmosphere or impression is different. Just a little. But I felt something familiar. I felt the same way when I met you the fir for the first time. Some peculiar feeling like we've met before somewhere. Yes? I don't remember much of... Much... Much what happened. Much of what happened after we were shot down. It's better that way. But I heard someone calling my name. I felt I was covered with something very warm. I remember that clearly. Thank you, Faye. Ellie. Faye. Hey, it's almost time for you to come back. There's something important we need to talk about. Ah, <sighs> interrupted. Uh, all right, we're coming. Well, Ellie, shall we go see what's up? 
much. Sure. Alrighty, I think... There, I thought there was some items around here, but uh, it might be later. Nah, it doesn't look like it. Alrighty. Where is the entrance? This is an interesting house. There it is. Let's go ahead and uh, make a quick save. Once these all load up. Wow. Almost gone through uh, all the saves twice. Alrighty. Let's go see what Tara wants. How do you feel now? The fresh forest air should have refreshed you somewhat, eh? Anyway, it's about the removal of the seal. We found out it can be released by using the nanotechnology that regenerated you two. The nano-assemblers are enclosed in this pod. If only we could scatter them all over the world. There's an ancient military installation nearby. We might be able to use the mass driver located in there to launch this pod into the upper atmosphere. Once the nano-assemblers are released up there, the convection currents should spread them all over the world. I wish I could do I wish I could go do it, but I'm getting much too old for that type of thing. Then again, it's for your future. An old man should not butt in. You young ones must do it for yourselves. Here. And of course, I'm not asking you to do it for free. Try this wristband on. Huh? What is that? This is an emotion control device, in which nanotechnology is applied. From this machine shaped as a wristband, nanomachines are infused through your epidermis into your brain. There they refer in <clears throat> there they refine the SSRI intracerebral substances, such as serotonin, that control emotions. Huh? Well, I suppose it's rather difficult for you to understand. But in short, it means that the manifestation of your second personality, it can be suppressed. Id. Faye. Well, it's all theoretical, though. Oh, and I did one more thing as well. I installed the same control device in your gear. Ooh. You mean it can release Id at will? Yes. I call it. I called it System Id. But of course, it should not be overused. Use it only as a last resort. <laughs> yeah, use it only as a last resort. Ellie, Doc, I... Faye, there was nothing you could do. It will never happen again with Tara's technology, though. He is one of the three Shivat sages. Whether you believe it or not, it's up to you. Oh, sounds like we have a guest. Do we now? Is that a visitor I heard? Eh, it could be. Faye, it is all right. Oh, all right. I suppose we'll go see who the visitor is. Where's the door? There's the door. Faye, we've got problems! How did you find us? Today, a peace settlement between Ave and Kislev is being held at Shivat. Solaris' mobile weapons are approaching Shivat as we speak. Please help us! That has nothing to do with this young man. Tara! Tara, sorry. Tara, ah, whatever. Get in on my nerves for being so selfish. Seton told me about you. Showed up after finding out that it is now controllable. Uh, it, but that was like two seconds ago. Aren't you ashamed? You haven't changed since then. You only care about yourselves. Faye, you don't need to listen to these guys who once tried to kill you. Please go. I'll go to the mass driver. 
Ellie? No matter what happened before, Shivat needs your help now. Although you may be saving some selfish people, there is still the world and its countries with many more innocent people. Please, don't forget that. Bart and his people are fighting to protect those same lives, aren't they? So please go help them. Are you sure? What about you? Don't worry about me. I'll manage somehow. But all by yourself? I will accompany you. You do not need to worry. I've brought along my own Omni Gear. What? Your own Omni Gear? Yes, my Omni Gear Thunder. Why didn't? Why weren't you? What? You, what you, why weren't you using it before? It is the same one I brought from Solaris. I left it with Gaspar in case of emergencies. Why weren't you using it before? Doc. All right. Please take care of her for me. Ellie, be careful. I will. We are truly grateful for your kindness, Faye. Hm. Suit yourselves. Sorry, Tara. Thanks. Ignis, right? Yes, the goal of the enemy is to destroy the cities in Ignis. They have already destroyed half of Bledevik and will probably reach Nysen in about four hours. Shivat will try to drive them back with all the power it has. Half of Bledevik? Four hours. That's cutting it close. No need to worry. Balthazar and I fixed your gear with, na with the nano machines. It's much more powerful than it ever was before. Why? You should get there in half the time. What? Is old man Ball here? Emeralda is here as well. Ooh, yay! Oh yeah. Well tall is well tall is beefier than ever. Introducing Well Tall 2. Basically, Well Tall 2 is Well Tall Id, the red gear, in uh, permanent form. This is incredible. We meet again. The host for the spirit of the Slayer of God. I didn't think I would ever work on it again. But why are you both helping me? There are some things you just can't explain with what with the word fate. You're just going to have to see it with your own eyes. Faye going? Yeah, I'd better hurry. Hey, where are you going? Faye, please hurry! Oh, all right. have a chance to equip it, though. Are you sure you want to go through with this? You wanted to live quietly away from the battlefield, did you not? I noticed myself weren't running away from reality. At first, I thought my situation was similar to his. I thought Faye would understand my feelings. I don't know if my love for him was real. I might have been desperate after losing my mother and father. Ellie. Despite all that, I may still love him. That's why I want to do what... That's why I want to see what Faye can do and what I can do. I want us to be apart and think about ourselves again. I want to see how I really feel. You've changed a lot, Ellie. What happened to you in the past three weeks? Really? I don't think I've changed. Yes, you have. I should say you have matured. Like a mother. That's that's kind of insulting, Seaton. Excuse me? I'm only 18 years old. I'm nowhere near the age of being your mother. <laughs> Sorry, you gave me that impression. That is all. Anyway, Seaton, I'm going now. Alright, I will follow you as soon as I finish off here. 
I... I go too. I can't remember what voice I was using for her. What? I go! Emeralda, I can't take anyone else along with me for something like this. I'll be fine on my own. If Ellie go, I go too. Emeralda have to go with you. Emeralda? No! Emeralda go too. Why not let her go? I'm sure Solaris has a... <clears throat> has a hunch about the limiter. They may interfere, so you may feel uneasy going it alone. I think Emeralda is cut out for this job. Besides, she's going to want to go no matter what. Take care of her until I can join you, please? Okay, you win. Let's help each other out. Let's help... Let's help each other, alright? I can do it alone. You just watch. So, so you were the one who brought Faye and his girl to me. I realized it the minute I saw the two of them. Why, how could I help? How could I help but notice? They looked the spitting image of you and her. Yes, just as you yourselves looked way back then. Right, Lacan. Do you mean he's still alive? Yes. Ridiculous. Didn't Ramses shoot him down? She was also on the gear that Ramses shot down. I won't have her die. But there is already a mother. Although she may be the antitype, as long as the current mother exists. As far as I see it, that is not complete. Quite picky, aren't you? Didn't you say you threw away all human emotions? care what you think. Anyway, as far as he is concerned, I will put Ramses onto him. Any objections? Where is he presently? Wap. 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 I, I don't know why you keep standing there in the path of those uh, balls there, Krellian. Etronank is destroyed, but part of the memory cube is still active. We should be able to locate... We should still be able to locate individuals. Wait a moment... He has left the crash site and is headed toward towards Ignis. I see. So he's left the area. That means it is only a matter of time before the seal is broken. Did you say something? It's nothing. Just sit there and wait for the good news. What about retrieving the girl? The key is already beginning to resonate. The time of the resurrection is near. We can get the girl any time. It doesn't have to be now. Let's take our time. Keep changing around things on you. On my way to Ignis, I re-encountered him. Karin Ramses. And we're gonna go ahead and uh, end the episode there. Got a boss fight in the next one. See you then.